Hey guys, welcome back. I thought today we'd do something a little bit different and I would give you a quick tour of our Canadian dollar stores. So we have Dollarama here in Canada and of course the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take you on a tour of both of them right now. Let's start with my favorite dollar store, which is Dollarama, where nothing is actually a dollar. It's a dollar to a four dollars. And their kitchen supplies are pretty amazing, actually. They're usually just all Betty Crocker. They're really high-end. And they have a lot of big, like, salad mixing bowls, stainless steel bowls, and a ton of muffin trays and baking sheets, which are an amazing price. I also love their kitchen organizing products they have can organizers shelf organizers all that good stuff dollarama is the place to go for cleaning tools they actually have some valida brooms and mops which are such a good price and this is where i got my laundry bags that i use that are hanging in my laundry room i think they're really cute and a good price and it's always a steal to get vacuum seal bags at the dollar store I have to give a shout out to Dollarama's cleaning supplies. You can get full bottles of cleaners for just a couple of dollars. They even have my favorite multi-purpose cleaner, which is this Vim Oxygel. I am in love with this cleaner. You know, I come here for bins. Dollarama is the place to go for bins, and they have every color and size, but absolutely my favorite are these faux wicker ones here. I especially like the white ones. They're good for every room. They're pretty. They're really durable, and they're just two dollars each. The painting section at Dollarama is insane. The foam brushes are really good quality and I like that they're the plastic instead of the wood. They're just really really durable and these paint brushes are so good. The bristles don't come off. They're absolutely amazing quality for just two dollars. This is the first year that Dollarama in their gardening section actually has shovels, which I thought was crazy. And their um, faux flower section is really good. I mean, it's so much better than the Dollar Tree and it is huge. Dollarama has so many fake silk flowers. They also have a pretty good toy section. It used to be really junky, but now they're getting a lot of like I don't know, it must be overstock products um, like Hot Wheels and things like that. Really name brand toys, so it's a great place to get a quick little treat. They also have a lot of kids books, actual like real kids books, adult coloring books, and other things that I think are overstock, like name brand toys and craft kits. Something new this year that I'm impressed with is their workout section. So they have actual weight skipping ropes, like yoga balls. They have so many different things, including kettle balls. Like, I mean, it's insane. For just $3, you can get either 3-pound or 5-pound kettle balls. Their craft section's pretty good at Dollarama too. Much, much, much better than the Dollar Tree. And usually all the craft supplies are about a dollar to two dollars and the ribbon. I got it. It's so much ribbon. And some of it's not the great, greatest quality, but sometimes it's great. Cards at Dollarama are all a dollar and they have really good quality funny cards and the selection is gigantic. They also have a ton of wrapping paper, easily 10 times more than you're going to find at the Dollar Tree. So I and they're all a dollar each as well. This is like the I, I guess bathroom aisle, but they have a lot of jewelry at the Dollarama that's actually pretty nice and their hair products are nice as well. So they have really good brushes, kids hair products that are that are pretty good quality and of course all their bathroom things like Q-tips and stuff like that is a good buy. I really like that they have name brand like full bottle of shampoos and shaving creams and body wash and it's always about a dollar or two less than you're going to pay at a grocery store or a big box store. I found this big cans of shaving cream up here, which are five dollars everywhere else. So that's a real savings. Of course, they always switch out for the season. So right now it's almost, you know, Canada Day and they have um, switching out with the seasons. And now they have a big garden section as well. I love these little jars. They are solar powered jars that you hang in your trees and I thought they were beautiful and of course across from the garden section they have like kids pool toys water guns skipping roads summer toys 
I mean, this store is so huge and they pretty much have like everything you could ever want. I always get some of these big butterflies and I hang them on my fence. I think they look really pretty for just $3. And their garden section this year is insanity. They have like hoses and the nozzles for the hose. And I actually bought some like hedge clippers, some, you know, these things, and they're really good quality for $3. So that was a, that was a steal. But my favorite section is the candy bar section. The candy section is an entire aisle at Dollarama and everything's 87 cents. So, I mean, I'm from Canada, 87 cents, <laughs> that's a good deal. So we're moving on to the Dollar Tree, which is a little lackluster here in Canada. They do have a lot of flip-flops, which I'm pretty impressed with. They're pretty good quality flip-flops for a dollar. That's a good deal. And their dishes, you guys know, the Dollar Tree dishes right now are beautiful. I especially love the teal and the red and teal dishes. They have some great outdoor placemats too. They're fun and they're pretty, but their card section is like tiny compared to Dollarama as is their bin section. We just don't have the same bins here at our Dollar Trees that I see on other YouTubers from the Dollar Tree. And the same goes with the cleaning products. They're all like no name usually, but their contact paper is a really good buy and it's always something that I go to the Dollar Tree for. I also found these great other placemats that I thought were really pretty and they match my decor. They came in a ton of colors and their acrylic makeup organizers are a pretty good deal too. They also have full, like full um, toothpaste here for a dollar, which in Canada, again, everything's so expensive here. So that's a really good price. And their toothbrushes, they had like full adult and adorable kid toothbrushes for a dollar. So that's saving you at least, you know, three or four dollars per toothbrush. The best part about Dollar Tree for me is they always have like theme party stuff. So right now they're having like this Hawaiian theme party stuff, which totally makes me want to have an outdoor Hawaiian themed barbecue. They have like aisles and aisles of awesome stuff for Hawaiian themed party. So I'm feeling like I need to invite some people over and buy everything, everything from the Dollar Tree for a Hawaiian party. Hey you guys, so thanks so much for staying to the end. Let's talk quickly about the renovations in the basement. Um, okay, so, we hired someone, and Joe didn't want to do them. He didn't want to do any renovations right now, but I totally convinced him because we had someone to come and do a quote, and it was such a good price, like amazeballs price. And I didn't even um, do any research with the guy. I'm just like so trusting. Like I'm just so excited in the moment. I'm like, here's all my money, sure, let's do it. So we gave him half down front, we gave him like $2,000 deposit, it was like $17.50 deposit. We gave that to him in an email transfer because that's how he wanted it. And then he was supposed to start construction. And we're like, yay, and the girls are all excited. We packed them up, we moved them into the living room, we packed up all their belongings. They're like squatters down there on a mattress on the floor. And then he didn't show up. And he emailed us, he said he had to push it back a week. And then he was gonna start eight o'clock on Monday. So eight o'clock on Monday's coming along, I'm like, we worked our butt off to get everything ready for him and he doesn't show up. And this is when I'm sort of like, I get that feeling <laughs> like this, something's not right. So um, I Google him finally, after we've given him the deposit <laughs> weeks ago and it's bad, you guys. So um, the ratings are bad on the business, Better Business Bureau and apparently he's done this before, and then he, I, I'm calling and I'm emailing him, he's totally not getting back to me, and then he says he has like a family emergency or whatever, and um, so he's not coming. Like it's, it's he's not coming. So we, <laughs> fingers crossed we get the money back. I don't know, it's a, I'll let you know. But we are um, having another contractor come tomorrow to give us another quote. Probably not gonna do the craft room now, probably just gonna do the girls room and then just pick away at the craft room, do it ourselves later, I don't really know. Listen, I guess it really depends on what this quote is. If it's realistic, <laughs> you're probably not doing the craft room. I think the guy underquoted by like at least a thousand or more. So um, when something is too good to be true, it usually is, right? And I was just so excited, I wasn't even thinking. I was like, hey, 
yay, we'll have everything done and it'll be awesome and it isn't awesome. And the girls are super disappointed and I'm disappointed and they're sleeping for who knows how long in the living room on a mattress and all their stuff is packed up and you know, they're at school soon and I just, I'm hoping that this goes better than it is right now because it's a freaking nightmare. Our, our dream right now has turned into a, a nightmare. So I'll let you know there's a, a, a awesome guy coming. He has lots of recommendations. He's retired, but he sort of does this on the side. Um, and he's coming to quote tomorrow. So the saga continues, my friends, and I will keep you updated. See you next time.